sometimes we get this problem where we've got uh, algebra but it's in fractions so we really need to know how to do fractions pretty well with this uh, the first thing we've got notice we've got different denominators so we need to make this into equivalent fractions with the same denominator the easiest way to do that is multiply 2 times 5 that gives us 10 so that will be a common multiple so we're going to put 10 underneath each of these and we multiplied 5 by 2 to get the 10 so we must put the 2 at the top as well put the x minus 3 in a bracket like this and we multiplied the 2 by the 5 so we've got to put the 5 up here and of course all of that equals 2 so we've got a common denominator so we can now add this lot together so let's expand that bracket add it all together so 5 times x is 5x 5, 5 times 1 is 5 and we add that to 2 times x 2x 2 times minus 3 is minus 6 and that's all over we've got this common denominator now so it's all over 10 equals 2 now that 10 is divided in this lot so to get rid of the 10 we multiply by 10 both sides so that gets rid of the 10 and I'm also going well I'll leave that as it is first do this first 5x plus 5 plus 2x minus 6 take the 10 up to the other side so that's 2 times 10 which is 20 <coughs> Collecting this lot together, we've got a 5x there and a 2x there, so that's 7x. We've got a plus 5 and a minus 6, so that makes minus 1 equals 20. Nearly there, we're just going to move over here a bit now. Just um, Right, so that's a minus 1, so to get rid of the minus 1, we add 1 to both sides. So that means 7x will equal the 20, we add the 1 to it, 21 I think you can see what x is x equals 21 divided by 7 which equals 3 that's our answer ok um, that's the basis, I'll do a few more of these videos, I'm really just trying to test out this new technique, I've got a new graphics tablet and um, a bit more software so we'll see how it goes thank you for watching